are recreating an accident scene in memory of a young 19-year-old girl who lost her life for distracted driving. This um, is a very different kind of a scenario. Mom sent me this information when uh, I threw a Facebook group that I had met her on. She had sent her daughter a text saying, I love you and drive safe. And her daughter went to answer that text and didn't make it home. So we are recreating this in memory of her in hopes to save at least one life. September 1st, 2015, I was hit by an individual with nine previous convictions. I was the 10th conviction, and there's every 30 minutes here in Ontario, someone is severely injured or killed by a distracted driver, just in Ontario alone. Any distraction while you're driving, especially with uh, cell phone, handheld devices, is a problem that takes away from your ability to properly assess what's in front of you on the roadway, uh, to make safe decisions, to react in an appropriate amount of time. Our officers are out every day. Uh, monitoring traffic, enforcing traffic laws, and distracted driving is uh, uh, something, as you said, we have zero tolerance for. If you uh, put your phone down, go on our sites, look at the stuff that we have, let it hit your heart to understand what these people actually go through. It's very, very, very serious situation. Um, the police are constantly laying charges. By the time it gets to the courts, these convictions aren't actually, a lot of them are, are just thrown out. They need to be convicted. Things need to stop here because it is cheaper to keep and maintain somebody in a jail than it is to maintain those injured people for the rest of their lives. We need to put an end to this.